We're here at App Demo Night. Now these people actually are part of Silicon Halton and also part of Haltech. Uh, Haltech actually is looking to help these entrepreneurs find the funding that they need to get their products out to market. And Silicon Halton kind of nurtures these people in the way of making good communication between one company and another. So we're here today to find out about all these products, all these things on the edge of technology that are actually going to come to market down the road. So let's go and take a look and see what they have. So I'm here with Karen Sivright, and we're here talking about Holtec. So how about you tell us the synergy that you and Silicon Holton have worked out, because you're very different. Uh, Silicon Holton handles something completely different, but there seems to be a common goal between you two. So tonight, what is that common goal? Oh, well, tonight, our common goal is to highlight some of the great tech companies that we have in Holton, mm -hmm. give them some uh, exposure, right. give them the chance to pitch, and, and, and really sort of more formalize our relationship you're sure. correct about our different mandates. Right. Uh, Holtec are a regional innovation centre, one of 14 in Ontario. Right. Um, and our mandate is to, to foster uh, innovative and uh, entrepreneurial, small, medium sized, and start up companies in the Halton region. Right, right. It seems to me like you, you actually nurture these companies and getting them out to market, or yeah. at least the start of it. Yes. Whereas more of the Silicon Halton side, they kind of take it from business to business where yeah. they need each other. Yeah. So there is a bit of a different mandate, but yeah. it's, it's fascinating how you two have kind of clicked together. And this is a great you know, yeah. outing tonight because we had a hundred people here roughly yep. and you know a good ten companies showing their wares so that shows the success of Haltech and Silicon Halton working Yeah, together. yeah, well Silicon Halton are uh, uh, an amazing grassroots group yep. um, who really are about, uh, you're right, uh, people meeting people, networking and helping one another mm -hmm. and, and we're about people helping business, right, business right. helping business. Right. So and there's a, a natural uh, synergy between us. Yeah, and I've seen that. Yeah, you have definitely a niche where you definitely have areas that they don't have access to. So yeah. you can really bolster those companies. And being in high tech, I mean, this is where it's really at. The whole reason that we do, you know, Halton Tech today, you yeah. know, just to plug our own, uh, our own yes. little, little <laughs> space, space there, um, is really that not a lot of people know that it's right in their own backyard. They think yes. that they have to go to the States or they have to go worldwide, and yeah. this stuff is literally down the street. All of these companies that were here tonight are literally from this region, yeah. and you have direct access to them. Yes. So that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for just taking five minutes out of your busy time here, and I'll let you get back to the festivities. So thank you very much. Thank you. So we're here with Vishal, and Vishal is going to explain to us what we're doing actually with the iPad here. And you've got a kind of a unique product uh, where you're actually showing people what's going on in the area in the way of seminars, in the way of discussions. So how about you walk us through, first of all, how did you get involved in this? Yeah, perfect. Uh, great question. I used to go to a lot of networking events like this or the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and I used to be there and I used to wanted to network with the people in the room, but right. the only way was for me to actually go out and shake everybody's hand and walk around and hopefully meet the people that I wanted to. Sure. Uh, sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little bit shy, so if I wanted to ask a question to the speaker at an event that I'm at, I would hesitate and have to track down that speaker after the, right. the event as well. So I thought about this and I said, you know, there's so many missed opportunities uh, where people come to interact for that like-minded purpose to meet people that they want to meet or to share that, that type of information. So right. I said, wouldn't it be great if the organizer came out with an app that was available to all attendees to say, okay, look, here's a list of everybody who's in the room. Right. And you can put everything. So it's Robert Devell, uh, you right. know, you, you're at this company, here's the services that you offer, this is maybe what you're looking for. Sure. Me, Vishal Badiani, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, and then to be able to scroll through, see their picture, see their bio, be able to send them a quick message and say, hey, do you want to meet for a quick chat? Uh, right. We can grab a coffee or connect with you through LinkedIn. 
um, and also to be able to message the speakers and to find out about more about the speakers. And, and quite often we have this problem as well, email gets lost. That's right. So you know you can put out an invitation to all these people and you can mail chimp them and go yes. nuts and it just gets lost in the yeah. shuffle. So this actually allows the user, and you would market to someone like me putting on a seminar That's or right. saying you know Rob's Got appearing it. at this location, here's where you want to be. So I would buy your service That's and then right. I would send it out to all the people that are in my network That's so right. that they're aware of all the things that are coming up. That's so. right, yeah. That's and great. But we also want to keep it live, right? right. So, so some of the, the features, like imagine sitting in this room and you wanted to get a sense of what does the crowd really feel about this event? Maybe right. I want to do an impromptu survey. Yeah, exactly. So I could do a survey out to the audience and say, hey, what do you think? Oh, you know, I, could, I could do something like that. Now, the conference also benefits uh, in a way that they're environmentally friendly. Right. I've, t I've attended conferences where I get booklets of information. Right, right. About what's going on, you know, and then there's a change. And somebody has to put in a piece of paper up on the wall saying that there's a change in the venue or location, speaker cancellation. Sure. Now you can take everything and digitize it onto the app. Perfect. So everybody has one stop location on there. Great, great. Um, and also conferences benefit with the sponsorship avenue. Right. So imagine that you have another place where individuals can now put their services on there and specifically target uh, people out there in the audience. Sure. Now can you show us a little bit about exactly what's happening on here? It looks yeah. like you've got a ticker. You have a bunch of options, so yep. maybe walk us through it just Perfect. very quickly. So this is a conference that's taking place in October. They have a 300 person conference, and this is their layout. So they have multiple sessions going on. So meaning the speakers are going to be talking at different timings in different rooms. So for example, there's one taking place about to play a game you must know well. It's going to be done by Norman O'Reilly on October 16th. Mm -hmm. You know, if I wanted to learn more about it, I could take a look and see exactly what that speaker is about. And you know what? I actually want to attend it so that. I'm going to bookmark that right. and create my own schedule. Now I could also go back now and then also find out more about all the different speakers that are going to be at that event as well. Now I can click on the specific speaker, I could go through, read their profile, and then I want to go visit their website or connect with them through LinkedIn, I could do that as well. Now if I want to see the delegates that are in the room, the delegates are the attendees. So in this case here, they've wanted to make sure that they, they tell everybody in the room mm -hmm. that there's going to be a person there from Best Buy, there's going to be somebody there from the Canadian Football League. Right. So then you can actually get in touch with that specific individual as well. So then you we've can really got, interact with yeah. them. And, you know, that's actually part of LinkedIn, like their whole premise is biz to biz, but you're actually saying this is who's in my room who's right now. Who's in my now. room right yeah. now. That's right. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Right. Yeah. So well, thanks very much yeah. for showing us that. Yeah, great. We really no. appreciate Perfect. it. Perfect. Thank, Thank you so that's much. Great. Take okay. care. Great. Thanks. So now we're here with Amy Leask, and she's going to show us from Enable Training. Yes? Uh, yes. No. Yes. Enable Education. Enable Education. Yeah. Thank you. Because uh, I know uh, I know you and your husband work very closely. Yes. So maybe you could walk us through a little bit on how, first of all, you got into this, okay. and what it is you're trying to accomplish. Because you have some fantastic things here for children. Thank you. So. Thank you. Um, I used to teach philosophy to big kids, um, 18 to 25 at the college level, and I was surprised at how um, so many, so few of them really had solid communication skills. Um, had had a good argument, you know, yeah. I've learned to really present their opinions with support. Um, and some years later, my husband and I started an education design company. Right. Um, we do a lot of work with companies like Lego Education, um, First Robotics, so a lot of work with STEM education. Right. And we noticed there were gaps. Um, STEM can only take you so far, it was aimed at older students, so these books and apps are to fill in the gap, the wow. gaps in STEM. That's fantastic, yeah. and I noticed they're, they're on very different subjects. Absolutely. So can all these be converted? into at your electronic medium? They Is that can. how you're doing yeah, it? Yeah, they can, and most of them have been. We have one and a half of them left. Um, they'll be done in the next couple of months. But yes, the books themselves, um, the apps are based on the books, but they're narrated, they're animated, and there are some more interactive activities in there. Wonderful. Yeah. Could you just flip us through maybe some of the sure, things that sure. you're doing on the iPad here? Because yeah. they're, they're really interactive, and they're, they're very colorful for the kids, too. Well, this is our robot app. This is actually slightly separate from the philosophy series. It's one we did. Um, in response to parent demand um, mm -hmm. at robotics competitions. There were a lot of parents who didn't know ro what a robot was, how they functioned. So we did a book about robots, but we also added um, some philosophical content, you know, what it means to think, right. what it means to be human, the difference between a, a person and a machine. Right, right. So, for example, this is a section on uh, Isaac Asimov, okay. who kind of developed an ethics of robotics. Wow, so there's I didn't even know that myself. So yep. I learned something 
something new to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. If you watch the movie I Robot, it talks about the three rules, and yeah. that's an ethicist dream. You know, uh, what am I supposed to do with a robot? What's its function? What's the proper use of it? Fantastic. So that's one uh, one page. Right. 